Kristen Bell brings magic to every project she's involved in with her chipper attitude and overall good-natured talent. Bell is also in killer shape, in part because she monitors what she eats to feel as healthy and happy as possible. Find out what Kristen Bell really eats in a day. If you were to go grocery shopping with Kristen Bell, you'd notice that it's not going to be a quick trip where she just grabs whatever looks good at the moment. Instead, you would find yourself taking your time as she reads the nutrition label on everything she puts in her cart. In an interview with the Los Angeles Times, she said that food is her jam, and added, I want to know what's in everything. I'm obsessive about food. I want to know who made it and where it came from. That's definitely a noble ambition. Bell encourages others to do the same with their grocery lists, as knowing exactly what's in your food, as well as how it's been produced, can help you to demystify your pantry. She said, Food feels confusing, but it's not. If you have the inkling to better your life and health, there are resources out there and a little understanding goes a long way. Being an actress means that Belle often has to spend long hours on set, which means she's dependent on what food offerings are available. In an interview with Grub Street, she shared, For breakfast, I had an egg white scramble with avocado and habanero sauce from the caterer on set, and I made a matcha latte with almond milk. I'm not that fancy, but it has some nice caffeine and doesn't give me the slump that coffee does. Sometimes Belle will change it up, opting instead for oatmeal with fruit, or perhaps going with what she can throw into a blender. She also shared, Breakfast was a smoothie with organic spinach, organic kale, frozen organic berries, maca powder, chia seeds, and chocolate vegan protein powder. And, of course, that was accompanied by her usual matcha and almond milk latte. Belle definitely seems to have taken note of all the things healthy people eat for breakfast. One of the strategies Belle uses in order to eat healthy and feel satiated is mentally tracking her macros, or macronutrients, which helps her make the most sensible food choices throughout the day. In an interview with Shape, Belle said, I pay attention to a food's nutritional value and then balance my diet really well. Like knowing, okay, I've had enough protein today, I'm going to eat carbs for dinner, or vice versa. At the center of this concept for Belle is balancing her diet, which ensures that she looks great, can think clearly, and isn't constantly starving. Belle added, I try to balance everything. Does an avocado have a ton of fat in it? Yes, but it's healthy fat. So have an avocado with sea salt. Same thing with fruit. When it comes to lunch, Belle has a go-to dish that she prefers, as it can be customized every day to be a little bit different. In an interview with Grub Street, she shared, We always have a big salad bar, and my personal favorite dish in the world is my garbage disposal salad, because it's never boring. I try to add a little bit of everything and keep my diet very diverse. As to what that can look like, there are a variety of different options. Sometimes she'll throw red beans and peppers on her salad, and other times different legumes and vegetables. She continued by saying, Today's on-set salad included spinach and romaine lettuce, chickpeas, red beans, broccoli, cauliflower, jalapenos, red pepper, feta, and a fig glaze and olive oil dressing. Sometimes she'll also have sweet potatoes on the side, and will wash it all down with Perrier. To supplement her main meals, Belle likes to have snacks on hand for when she gets hungry during the day. Additionally, one of her mainstays is something she created herself to cater to her own palate, and do good for people who need it. In an interview with Grub Street, she shared, For a snack, I had a dark chocolate cherry sea salt bar from This Bar Saves Lives. I'm a co-founder of the company, so I made sure all the flavors were my favorites. Belle added that for each box sold, the company donates nutritious food to hungry children in need. When she's not reaching for a snack bar, Belle has a few other favorite go-to foods to whet her appetite. In an interview with Shape, she explained, As a snack at work, I'll grab a Chobani yogurt. At home, I'll pick things that are blooming in my garden. Mulberries, nectar plums, blackberries. Oh, it somehow tastes how I felt when my cell phone was fully charged. Oh, I'm so relaxed. Sometimes she'll reach for vegan cookies too, but opts for those with plenty of protein. 
When it comes to what Kristen Bell likes to make for dinner, she's especially fond of pasta, a food she unabashedly loves. She also has a go-to recipe that she and her family enjoy for their evening meal. In an interview with Shape, she said, "...what I'll do is cut up some cherry tomatoes, fry them in a pan with a little olive oil, throw the cooked noodles in, then add a little more olive oil and maybe some ghee, and crack an egg in it for creaminess." The dish is like a carbonara, but with tomatoes and without meat, and it's truly divine. If Belle wants to add some extra textures and protein, she just reaches into the fridge in order to round out the dish. In an interview with Delish, she shared, "...I really like the Beyond Meat crumbles to add some protein. I also add in whatever Paul Newman's own pasta sauce we have in the cupboards." Belle doesn't just grab any old box of spaghetti off the shelf at the supermarket. That would not be in alignment with her nutritional principles. Instead, she has discovered a pasta that she adores, which is healthier than your standard, regular semolina-based products. In an interview with Shape, she revealed, "...there is a brand of pasta that I've been getting at Thrive Market called Bonza that's made from chickpeas and pea protein. It's got a lot of protein in it, about 25 grams a serving, and it tastes like regular pasta." Belle isn't shy when it comes time to sing Bonza's praises, saying, "...it's so good. I'm telling you, this pasta has changed my life." Obviously, being healthy is super important to Kristen Bell, who's extremely mindful about what she eats and drinks. But it's not just about having a fit bod for Bell. She has more important motivations, as well as ways in which she measures her well-being. In an interview with Shape, she said, "...to me, being healthy means feeling good about the choices I'm making. And most important, it's about keeping fit mentally and physically. I'm constantly reminding myself that it's not about my thighs. It's about my commitment and my happiness level." That being said, Belle doesn't just eat vegetables and other healthy foods all day, as she has a rather indulgent number one pleasure. She revealed, "...my favorite food, though, is croutons. Any and all croutons. I don't discriminate." Chances are, then, that croutons make a regular appearance in her salads. They certainly do add a nice crunch and flavor to meals. Croutons aren't the only indulgent food that Belle keeps in her otherwise healthy diet. Most notably, she refuses to take pizza off of the menu for a variety of reasons, late nights being one of them. In an interview with Grub Street, she confessed, "...I got home around midnight from work, and there was leftover pizza from Lucifer's that my husband and the kids had eaten. So I snagged some of that before passing out on my pillow, dreaming about carbs." I allow myself to do that A because it's delicious, and B because 85% of my diet is healthy and thoughtful. Belle just doesn't see the need to be ultra-restrictive, instead allowing herself the freedom to have a decadent meal every now and again. She said, "...I don't beat myself up when I eat foods that are indulgent. Also, if I can bribe my kids to eat vegetables by giving them pizza at a later point, I'll do it." Though Belle includes some decadent foods in her diet, there are some things you won't see her chowing down on anytime soon, especially meat. Is Kristen Bell vegetarian? Ding, ding, ding! In an interview with the Los Angeles Times, she revealed, "...I was vegan and am now vegetarian. I'm all about eating clean and ethically, but I also believe that it's important to listen to your body." Additionally, Belle understands that everyone has different nutritional needs, and she isn't here to police anyone else about their food intake. She said, "...some people's bodies tell them to eat meat. There's a better way to do it because factory farming is a nightmare. I give my children meat. The chicken they get has been raised in basically a spa." She added that the chickens even get manicures, so you know they're living large. Instead, Belle is more likely to reach for meat substitutes like Beyond Burgers, which she eats freely during periods when she's working out a lot. What is that amazing smell? Chocolate! <laughs> <laughs> in addition to avoiding meat, there's another thing that Belle doesn't indulge in – sugar. That all started when she and her husband did a 30-day no-sugar challenge, then felt sick after reintroducing it to her diet once it was over. In an interview with Delish, she explained, "...you have to change your brain's receptors to thinking it's bad for you versus it's good for you. You have to associate it with something negative in order to give it up." 
Belle does keep a little bit of sugar on hand in case the cravings hit hard, but it's definitely not the first thing that she goes for when she has a snack attack. She said, I'll get a chocolate bar and keep it in the cupboard and have a piece of it if I really want something, but I cheat very rarely. I will cheat with salty things, just not sugar, but that I think is better for you. I think sugar is really bad for us. Although Belle hasn't sworn off alcohol for life, it's not something that she indulges in very often. In an interview with HuffPost, she shared, I personally don't have wine every day, but my wine is Netflix and cuddling with my husband or our date night. So when it comes to her take on the alcohol saturation and parenting culture, she's just not that into it, though she does understand the message behind it. The wine memes, for me, they're all encompassing in the fact that they represent, remember that you're an adult. It's okay if your kids are stressful and annoying. It's okay to take time for yourself. But to me, that doesn't necessarily ever mean alcohol. According to Women's Health, Belle did kick back and unwind in 2019 when she, quote, discovered rosé and had one glass every day while she was on vacation. But those days are definitely outliers, as the rest of the time she's fine being sober. If there's one thing that sums up Kristen Bell's overall attitude toward food and nutrition, it's that she eats clean about 90% of the time. That allows her the freedom to indulge when it feels right, and to maintain a healthy relationship with both food and her body. Additionally, Bell definitely adheres to the notion that all things should be in moderation, including moderation. That's where portion control comes in quite handy, as it allows her to eat whatever food she wants to without worrying about undue consequences, especially when she's on set. In an interview with Women's Health, she explained, I'm not super restrictive. If they make au gratin potatoes, I'm going to have some, but I am mindful of the portion I take. I find that through conscious eating, I'm able to have all the rewards and also maintain a healthy, steady diet. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebrities and reality shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.